We just saw a startup procedure for a furnace with gas burners. The overall startup is basically the same for furnaces with oil burners or combination burners. But when it comes to lighting the burners, the procedure can vary depending on the type of burner. So we need to see the main steps involved in lighting oil burners and combination burners. To do this, we'll assume that the pilots have already been lit, but that the burner fuel valves are still closed. You may recall that oil burners have atomizers or oil guns that break the fuel oil into a mist so it will burn easier. This burner has a steam atomizer. What do you suppose is typically the first step in putting it into service? The operator opens steam valves to get steam flowing to the atomizer. The steam may have moisture in it. Moisture in the steam may produce a sparky improper flame pattern. So before the burner is lit, steam flow through the atomizer should continue long enough to remove the moisture. When the moisture has been removed, the steam coming out of the atomizer should be nearly invisible. When the steam is dry, the operator opens the oil valves to allow oil to flow to the atomizer. After the atomized oil ignites off the pilot, the steam valve and the oil valve can be adjusted to produce a proper flame pattern. Another type of burner you may find in furnaces is a combination burner, which can burn gas and oil. If both fuels are burned, the gas burning part is usually lit first and the oil is lit later. This is a typical sequence because gas is easier to ignite than oil. The startup procedures we saw apply to natural draft furnaces, but most of the same steps are also followed when starting a balanced draft furnace. You may recall that a balanced draft furnace has two fans, a forced draft fan, which provides air for the burners, and an induced draft fan, which removes the exhaust gases from the furnace. In addition, most balanced draft furnaces have an air preheater. It uses the heat from combustion gases to warm the air sent to the burners. Using warm combustion air improves efficiency because more heat is transferred to the process fluid and less heat goes to heating the incoming air. If your plant uses balanced draft furnaces, it will probably have detailed startup procedures. But the key point to remember is that the fans and the air preheater will have to be part of the startup. In this topic, we saw how furnaces are normally started up. We looked at startup preparations. We saw how to establish the flow of process fluid. And we learned the basic procedures involved in lighting burners. Take a minute now to try a few practice questions on this information. For many furnaces, the last thing done before lighting the burners is purging. Purging the furnace removes any combustibles or unburned fuel. Unburned fuel can explode when the burners are ignited.